All right, so we've recorded a uh, PID list um, of the, the data on a Snap-on um, scan tool, and now we are using uh, ShopStream, which is a free program by Snap-on you can download off the internet. Uh, we've downloaded the movie from the scan tool to the computer. Now this is what we're reviewing. So I want to show how the lockup system works in this vehicle. It's kind of strange compared to some of the other vehicles. Uh, it, it locks up very early. So here we see our complete data list over here on our left um, side here. There's a lot of information right there, but we're going to focus on um, basically engine speed, uh, front wheel speed, which is basically vehicle, wheel, uh, vehicle speed, and our lockup duty cycle. Um, just looking over this movie real quick, kind of to understand what's going on. Um, here is our, um, where is it? Oh, front wheel speed sensor right here, uh, top right. So you see we're zero miles per hour. We were accelerating, slow back down, accelerator, and then we're picking up right here. So I'm going to jump to this section in here where we're accelerating um, a couple times so I'm gonna fast forward this here in a little bit but uh, so we're kind of on and off the gas pulling out of the parking lot most likely is what's going on here so let's get rid of some of these extra PIDs that we don't need for now we're gonna go over here to the top left and go to the t custom list we're gonna hit edit list I always like to deselect all and then uh, select what we're wanting I want uh, engine speed I want the front uh, wheel speed sensor, which is basically the VSS. I want it, we're going to be showing you what lockup does, so with lockup duty ratio. And I'm also going to want to see what uh, show you that it's changing gear ratios. All right, so we just selected four of them for right now for this video. Save and exit. Now we have four um, PIDs on our screen. We're going to go up here to four and this shows um, all four we can also hide this list over here so we can make these even bigger yet already hopefully everybody can see this pretty good so this um, on the top right here front wheel speed sensor starts out at zero per mile miles per hour accelerates up here roughly to four -ish miles per hour it slows back down so let's just click on this real quick and now we're at three miles per hour. And here's our lockup duty ratio. You see that it's not applied. And this is what I wanted to, sh to show you guys. You see this duty cycle starts to creep up about right here. Um, I'm going to uh, zoom in on this a little bit. So on the bottom right here, I hit, hit zoom in. You see our lockup duty cycle goes up to about 38% duty cycle. And then you see right here in the top right, it's actually four miles per hour and lockup is, is already at 38%. Kind of uh, very quick. Full lockup, 99% right here. You see we're at 12 miles per hour and this lockup clutch is already fully applied. So let's watch this a little bit. We're going to play this movie. As you see here, we're, we're slowing back down. And when the movie gets back over to this section here where it's accelerating, I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop the, uh, the movie again and, and talk about it. So we're slowing back down. And now we are accelerating back up. So let's pause this and look at what we're seeing. Down here on the bottom left is our lockup duty percent. Let's see when this comes in again. Right about here is when it makes a change to 41%. You see the current right here? That's what the command is, 41% uh, lockup. Let's see, we're doing roughly two miles per hour. If we hit bump over here to step forward, seven miles per hour at 41% lockup. And bump it forward again. We're the same. Let's see here. Full lockup right there. 100%. 
and we're at 14 miles per hour. That just blows my mind um, how quick this lockup uh, applies on this Super Generation 1 CVT. So this is normal. This, this is a vehicle I have driven. This is actually one after I rebuilt it for a failed differential. Uh, it has been relearned. It has roughly about 25 miles on it after rebuild, and I took this movie. Um, here we see the, the gear ratio changes also. It's kind of interesting on how it's changing. And over here is our engine RPM. So this is a short little video um, showing lockup operation. Uh, we start seeing some lockup coming on about four, four miles per hour, fully locked around 11, 12 miles per hour. That is considered normal. Uh, just wanted to share this information with you. Thanks for watching.